what I'm about to talk about today is something I call the Mission X mindset. Back in 2001, something happened called Mission X, where this airplane called the X-35 did a short takeoff, a level supersonic dash, and a vertical landing all in one flight. And it's significant because it had never been done before. In order to do something that's never been done, you need a few things. The first one of those things you need is confidence. You've got to believe that you actually can do what it is you're embarking on to do. We went out to simulators and we practiced in these virtual environments and these simulation devices in an, as a an way to build confidence. It is the nearest thing to flying without actually being in an airplane. Another thing we did was this jet airplane can hover in the air. So we approached it in baby steps. And you can see here, one of the very first things we did in the airplane was just get the airplane off the ground about a foot and then come back down. Very easy, very benign, very little that could go wrong. And we were able to build ourselves up from on the ground, not moving, to up in the air, not moving. Similarly, we were also taking the airplane, flying it normally, and slowing down slower and slower and slower until we were ready to make that jump from slow speed to no speed in the hover. The next thing is cleverness. And we had to get really, really clever in the X-35 program. Each company was tasked to demonstrate basically three kinds of airplanes, a conventional airplane, a short takeoff and vertical landing airplane, and a carrier variant of the airplane. But they could only build two airplanes to do that. So you had to be able to have one airplane do at least two of those missions. On the Lockheed side, we built the X-35A, which was a conventional airplane, and we built the X-35C, which was the carrier version of the airplane. The A model would go do all of its conventional flying, and then it went into the hangar to get modified to become the Stovall airplane or the X-35B. What many people don't know, there was a plan, had anything gone wrong with the X-35B, that we could have put that Stovall propulsion system in the X-35C and continued to go and execute the test program. The courage I want to talk about, and the courage I think was more important and more important to our team back then, is a different kind of courage. It's the courage to say no when something doesn't look right. But on the day that we did the Mission X flight, everything went perfectly. Short takeoff, level supersonic dash, vertical landing. We came back and we had a plan to get a little bit more gas in the airplane and then go back and do a vertical takeoff from the hover pad, get out there, Everybody's ready. We get the clear to maneuver from the control room. I advance the power. Nose wheel comes up. Airplane kind of bounces a little bit, bounces a little bit more. And then I noticed that we're not going backwards this time. We're going sideways. Sideways is not good. I brought the power back to idle. Airplane settled back down, took a deep breath, waited. Nobody said anything on the radio. So I came up on the radio and said, hey, did you guys see that? And I got the famous control room phrase, stand by, which meant they were busy analyzing data and looking at strip charts and doing all the stuff that engineers do. They come back up after about a minute or so, and they said, everything looks okay here. We're ready to try again. Hmm. There's the ego part of me that really wants to go, yeah, okay, I'm looking around the airplane. I don't see anything wrong. There's no lights flashing. Everything looks fine to me. Control room just said everything's good to go. And then it took me a while to figure out why, and it wasn't until later when I was reflecting that I understood why, but I said, I don't think so. I think we're done for the day. And the control room said, okay, we got taxied back in, and we went and we had a debrief uh, because things didn't go like we expected. And nobody could offer, I didn't know why, and the folks in the control room with a lot more information than I had couldn't tell me why either. So the courage to say no, when everything inside of me wanted to say yes, and probably a lot of things programmatically would have wanted to say yes, especially from the Lockheed strategic comms team, I said no. And there's a courage that goes with that kind of action. And then the final piece is commitment. This was a planned event. We knew we were going to go do Mission X, but we also knew it was going to take a lot to get there. And that movie poster if you looked at the bottom, 
was me and a cast of thousands because it took an incredible team committed to make that happen. Because at the end of the day, I didn't build the airplane. I didn't design it. I didn't manufacture it. I wasn't in the control room monitoring all of the data that was coming in. In fact, I probably wouldn't have even understood a lot of the data that was coming in. I wasn't in the safety and photo chase airplanes that were following along, ready to help me out if anything had gone wrong with my airplane, ready to clear airspace for me, ready to keep eyes outside while I was eyes inside my airplane doing stuff. I wasn't the tower at Edwards Air Force Base who was making sure that I had almost exclusive use of the airfield for the time frame that I was doing this. Uh, I wasn't the range control that cleared all of the airspace I needed to do that supersonic dash. And I wasn't the landing site supervisor that helped guide me down and make sure that I was centered over the pad. There were a thousand-ish people that made up all aspects of what I just described. So I go back and I say that day for Mission X, we had people who were confident, who were clever, who were courageous, who were committed. And those people came together as a team in order to make that happen. Back at that point in time, I looked on it as this cool thing that I had done, this um, cool experience that the pilot, Art Tomasetti, got to be part of. And now when I look back on it, I really realized that I was just one piece of a team that made that extraordinary day happen. One piece of a team who every individual on that team embodied these four suits.